Oman, with hundreds of years of civilization known for its commercial and trade role between countries and other civilizations, the hub of trade and commerce before the first century AD, the largest economic zone in the Middle East and North Africa, is located within a geographic hub interlinked with Gulf oil markets and is unique in its location in an open sea with its coasts and ports located in the middle of the world map. Near to the maritime and commercial routes crowned by a highly strategic location interlinking between Asian and African markets and overlooking the Arab Sea, which connects it to the Indian Ocean, where it is ideal to serve important markets with high populations. The Special Economic Zone at Dukum, in an area of 2,000 square kilometers, with a coastal line extending for 90 kilometers. The Industrial Zone of Dukum, the core of the Special Economic Zone of Dukum, is divided into three categories. The Heavy Industry Zone, which is associated with high capital costs, capital intensive, high barriers to entry, low transportability, and high energy demand. These industries require significant infrastructure with space customized for large-scale plants. Environmental impacts associated with the heavy industries extend beyond the project boundaries as they are related to noise, dust, heavy vehicle traffic, and more. Accordingly, the industrial area is located away from subtler land uses, such as residential and community uses, as they can be hazardous. The Medium Industry Zone, which requires medium-sized infrastructure with spaces to accommodate medium to large-scale plants. Environmentally speaking, medium industries are more often less polluting than heavy industries. The location for medium manufacturing generally accommodates industrial development with minimal on-site air emissions. This level of industrial use can potentially impact areas in close proximity, but not beyond. The light industry zone to accommodate a range of light industrial storage and warehouse land uses which do not create any appreciable nuisance or generate heavy traffic. These industries are more consumer oriented than business oriented with most products aimed for end users. Light industries have less of an environmental impact than those associated with medium and heavy industry. Hence, they are located closer to the city which has all integral services and is qualified to harbor small and medium vessels. The Port of Dukum is planned to become one of the largest ports in the Middle East over the long run. Port of Dukum is a multi-purpose berth covering several stations including the container station with an initial capacity of 1.5 million containers and a 1,130 meter key, a roll-on roll-off, a station for vehicle transport, a general container station to transport general and bulk goods, a dry goods station to export metals, which are abundantly available in the neighboring area, and to import materials such as cement, clinker, and coal. The Bulk Goods Station, which contains in its initial stage seven keys to facilitate the transport of all liquid and gas products, is a joint project equally owned by the government of the Sultanate of Oman and Antwerp Port Union, and is supported by the Antwerp Port in Belgium, which is considered one of the largest pivotal ports in Europe. The importance of Port Dukum is attributed to its geographic location as it is located at the hub of international shipping routes connecting the east with the west. Moreover, it is located near the sea passages to and from the Arab Gulf. Port of Dukum plans on exploiting this convenient location as a hub for transit and shipping of international chains of supply as well as a distribution center serving the markets of the Gulf and Middle East. Port of Dukum is outside the Strait of Hormuz. Large container vessels with 16 to 18,000 TEUs can save two or three days of expensive sailing in the Gulf if they unload their shipments designated to the Middle East at Port of Dukum. And the dry dock area is considered one of the long-term future plans of the government of the Sultanate of Oman designed to accommodate 200 vessels annually from all over the world. Since the inauguration of the Oman Dry Dock Company in 2011, the dry dock has been working at full capacity. 
The dry dock has keys extending over 2,800 meters and yards measuring 453,000 square meters. It is composed of two dry docks. Each of them is 410 meters long, 95 and 80 meters wide, 10 meters deep, and 14 meters high. The dry docks serve the activities of the Oman Dry Dock Company, which includes the manufacture of iron structures and marine platforms, in addition to its main activities, e.g., the repair and maintenance of vessels. Additionally, Dukem City has commercial, tourist, residential, health, and educational areas, and within its business vicinity, the Dukem International Airport is nearby. The airport has a four-kilometer runway to receive all sizes of planes. The airport connects the area to the capital, Muscat, in a flight which takes less than 60 minutes. In addition to that, the city hosts logistics which would serve the Dukem International Airport and Port of Dukem. Such logistics are located in the city of Dukem and are designed to serve Dukem International Airport, international hotels, and educational facilities. The largest station in the Middle East to store crude oil is located in Ras Merkaz with the Special Economic Zone of Al Dukum, with the capacity of 200 million barrels under the management of the Omani Tanks Terminal Company, OTTCO, which is affiliated with the Omani Oil Company. Al Dukum focuses on industries to create job opportunities and diversify the economy of Oman. However, it was also designed to achieve best class standards for livability in Dukum. The city considers all levels of the society with vast facilities to accommodate everyone. The city has international hotels which provide high-level services. The city has tourist destinations such as the Rock Garden, which is one of the rarest natural rock formations in the world, and the most amazing one with an area of three square kilometers made of sand, stones, rocks, and limestone in an underground water aquifer more than 46 million years ago. Dukem is known for its beautiful beaches and moderate weather, and is an ideal tourist destination for tranquility and peace of mind during summer, where the temperature drops as low as 25 centigrade. The Dukem area enjoys moderate climates all year round, which when combined with the charm of its nature, adds an aesthetic appeal to the area. There is also the fish industry zone, which includes commercial markets for wholesale and retail sales and exports. The Special Economic Zone at Dukem was established by virtue of a royal decree to play a historical role in the economic development of the Sultanate, coping with Oman Vision 2040 in diversification beyond oil and gas by allowing sustainable economic growth, diversifying the national economy beyond oil and gas, creating jobs for the young and energetic population, balancing regional development in the country, and increasing the private sector contribution to the national GDP by relying on the principles of transparency and equal opportunity for all investors. Backed by legislation, which serves the needs of all parties and in turn, secures the economic competence of the zone. The Special Economic Zone at Dukem is designed by the diversity of investment fields, which include industrial, commercial, tourism, residential, logistic and service fields, and is therefore an optimal model for economic integration into the world. Furthermore, investment elements at the Special Economic Zone at Dukem are supported by tax incentives and privilege systems offered by the authority to the investors. For example, such systems provide for up to 30-year tax exemptions of income tax starting from the date of commencing the activity. And in addition, such exemption periods may be renewable. Up to 50-year renewable use of foot right over state-owned plots of land located at the zone. 100% non-Omani project capital ownership. Exemption of the minimum capital invested in the project. Exemption of any restrictions on bringing, trading in, and exchanging foreign currencies. Exemption of the compliance with commercial agency laws and allowing the import of all types of goods which are permitted in Oman without the need to obtain prior permission, license, or permit. The incentives and privileges further include facilitating the provision of project-related services through one-stop station, which is characterized by efficiency, speed, and ease and provides, through one contact point, all services and business related to investors and organizational needs. The first economic zone in the Middle East and North Africa.